Greetings Space Cadets, it has come to my attention that many of you out there have major concerns regarding PvP and the possibility for griefing to be a thing in the next update for No Man's Sky. Don't worry though as I have got your back, in today's video we'll go over all the ways you can protect yourself against any good for nothing lowlife that decides to do you wrong. So let's not waste any more time on pointless introductions and let's proceed. I'll start by saying that the PvP and griefing part was a bit blown out of proportion by the No Man's Sky community, nobody knows yet exactly how player versus player will turn out to be in the next update, there was only one mention of travelers being able to prey on one another but no significant detail has been given to us so far. Suffice to say that we don't take things lightly over here, hence the reason why we'll go over all the precaution measures that you will need in order to stay safe. First and foremost, if you're starting out and didn't get too far in the game or even if you're planning to start fresh in the next tablet, the vastness of space will probably be your best friend and probably the main way you're gonna stay safe from harm or at least from other players attacking you. The chances for you to encounter other players in this huge game we're talking about is very low unless you're specifically going to player hubs in which yes there is going to be some pvp going on. At least until you get yourself a nice ship and a good multi-tool you're probably gonna want to spend some time in the far reaches of the universe, at least do it a little bit alone if you don't have anybody or anything to protect yourself. Contrary to popular belief, the odds of finding another person in the massive setting of this game are rather low, more often than not you're gonna play solo unless as I've said you're aiming towards player hubs such as the galactic hub, you'll even find yourself being happy if the first person you ever encounter is also the one attacking you. This shouldn't deter you from from traveling to certain hubs just because there are players in there but do expect higher chances for fights to break out as there are all types of players over there with all kinds of questionable morality. This of course brings us to the second point on the list especially for the guys traveling to the galactic hub and that is the Galactic Hub Defense Force. If you do decide to travel to the official Galactic Hub, especially on the PS4, you should know that the community has decided on building an intergalactic peace corps or basically a space police. They have the sole purpose of defending the hub as well as anyone inhabiting it against pirates, against scum, against anybody who's deciding to go on the <laughs> dark side and attacking everybody else. It's officially called the Galactic Hub Defense Defense Force or short for GHDF. It comes up with its own official ship and you can also join them by acquiring that specific ship and swearing to protect and serve those in need. Whenever someone decides to attack the Galactic Hub, the GHDF members will promptly intervene with the sole purpose of driving that person away from the hub if necessary. 3 on the list is space stations. In case you decide to not play in the hub or under the protection of the GHDF or if there's nobody able to protect you there's always the option to go inside a space station. No combat is allowed in this area and players will not even be able to unsheath their weapons which means it's probably the safest spots you can find in No Man's Sky. You also have access to a portal on the left side of it so if you want to go back to a previous system or if you want to go back to your base then you always have the option to do that and it provides you a nice escape mechanism from all the fools that are trying to grief you and whatnot. Atlas stations and space anomalies work in a similar way as it does not allow combat inside of it but they don't have portals so yeah just keep that in mind if you go on it you're probably gonna have to either wait out the griefer or the person who's engaging in fights with you or just try to run away in the very last second. In fact, any interior would not even permit any form of PvP, be it in outer space or on planets. So if for example you travel to a trading post or inside any building, a player will not be able to attack you and said buildings are also indestructible and I don't think Halo Games is planning to add that feature in any update whatsoever, let alone in next, so nobody will be able to attack in it. But keep in mind that you have to keep the doors closed, so anybody who on the outside as long as you don't open the doors won't be able to attack you. If you open them well you're pretty much open to all kinds of damage so be careful with that. They also won't be able to destroy your buildings so if you are on your base and somebody all of a sudden decides to attack you 
for the most part they won't be able to damage you as you're inside a safety spot so yeah as i've said just don't leave the doors open and you should be okay if the attacker somehow manages to pin you down and you find yourself in the middle of the planet with nowhere to go consider escaping with your nomad exocraft you will need voltaic cells and heridium to build one so make sure that you always have that ready just in case a situation like this arises the nomad geo bay can be put anywhere and this will both spawn your exocraft as well as give you the ability to summon it anywhere on the planet well in case you get stuck or anything and this can be done even after you scrap the geo bay so keep this in mind the nomad in itself is a very fast vehicle and since it moves so swiftly the attacker won't be able to shoot you down with his ship nor on foot since he's slow and stupid if he does manage to get a nomad on his own you'll make a fool out of him by making him run circles to catch up to you if he doesn't get bored of chasing you of course like a maniac you can go to the next Next outpost you can find or any point of interest that holds a building with an interior so you can go there and do that but yeah just keep in mind that this is probably the worst method to get rid of somebody as it will probably end up in you being chased all over the planet so better have some safety precautions just in case while we are not sure yet if pvp will be a separate game mode or a toggable option like for example base sharing one thing is for sure and that is that you will always be able to play this game offline if you find yourself constantly being being harassed by somebody just go ahead and play the game offline for a few minutes the universe is the same no matter if you play online or offline so you will be able to see the same things as anybody else whatever you do or accomplish in an offline session will be uploaded to the main database once you go online and you don't have to fear of losing anything in your progression since the game is not an MMO or anything so yeah it's pretty much a single player experience it's just that now the developers have decided to also add some PvP to it so don't think too much of it it's not gonna be that big of a deal and this brings us to the last thing on the list you can do to defend yourself against intergalactic griefers and that is to fight back it is said that sometimes the best defense is to attack and most often than not that is quite true in order to fight back you need of course a good ship a menacing multi-tool and skill to fight so try to get all of this stuff as soon as possible there are many resources both on this channel and online where you can find amazing stuff to get there are plenty of videos on this channel that teaches you where to find cool and very good multi-tools as well as starships and even freighters there is also on Online resources like the official galactic hub wiki or even the no man's sky subreddit also a lot of resources for you online and means for you to protect yourself once you get high up on your feet you can also scout the universe and protect those in need or better yet become a pirate yourself it's your choice how you play this game and there's no penalty for any path you choose so this pretty much concludes today's defense course against intergalactic griefers keep in mind that by the looks of it player versus player combat will be possible both in space as well as on the surface of planets with multi-tools and exocrafts also don't be scared to play this game as you would otherwise as pvp isn't a main focus of this game even though i commend hello games for bringing it in the next update as always if you enjoyed this video a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated also activate that notification bell and i will see you guys next time